Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Here we come, walking down the street. We get the funniest looks from everyone we meet. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys, and people say we're monkey around. But we're too busy singing to put anybody down. We go wherever we want to, do what we like to do. We don't have time to get restless. They're always something new. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. And people say we're monkey around. But we're too busy singing to put anybody down. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. Okay. Okay, who doesn't remember that song? So Marcus doesn't remember the show, but he remembers the song. Yeah, it was like, yeah. Anyway, um, I did, probably didn't do, I don't know. I didn't do that so well. Here we come, walk down the street. But I remember it so well. Like, I just remember the whole beginning of that show. Uh, the whole, it was a long intro. I think they shortened it after a while. Didn't they, remember TV shows used to do that? There'd be like this long intro, and then they'd shorten it. Time was money. Okay, welcome to Bell's Bargains. My name is Amy. Hey, Effingham, say hello. Hello. All right, so today is theme Thursday, but... It's another twisted themed Thursday. I'm gonna. Okay. Yes. Effingham says I'm always twisted. <laughs> You're so funny. I shouldn't laugh at him. Just encourage it. Okay. So today we are doing a small, and I mean small haul, with a slight craft. By the way, I would like to say, everybody, thank you for the very kind words um, the other day. If you didn't watch my video all the way through, you don't know what I'm talking about. But some um, tragic news from somebody that we knew. And I really appreciate all the very kind words and the prayers. Um, yeah, it's still so shocking, very shocking. Anyway, I'm not gonna go into that too much right now. So let's dive right into this haul. If you're new to the channel, you should stick around, give me a thumbs up, I mean maybe, and then uh, consider subscribing because we have so much fun here. Everything on this channel is a dollar and I know, I almost did it. Everything on this channel is Dollar Tree and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything in the Dollar Tree is a, a dollar and a, and a quarter. Thank you, Evingham, for your input on that. All right. So, uh, <laughs> uh, maybe someday you'll have more lines. I, it gets so testy. Wow. Okay. All right. Let's dive in because I'm in a hurry. <laughs> Aren't I always? All right. Um, so I don't even know what I'm going to show you, but these, is this the last of anything that I had stashed in my garage? <laughs> there you go. So tomorrow I got to go buy a haul for the haul on Saturday and I might do a twist on that. Should we just really quickly, Jif, it's what's for dinner. No, <laughs> it's peanut, peanut butter. I don't think you'd like it. I like it because I love the little single servings. I love peanut butter. Throw some almonds on top of your peanut butter and dip an apple in it. And brrr, that's so good. Okay. Because I need them. This is boring. This might be a boring haul. I don't know. Oh, there could be some exciting things in there. Anyway, okay. So, because. Because, 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 because. We should play that game. Like, can I, can, can I come up with a song? Be like, for everything. Because I could have done smoothie like a, a, a smooth, like a smooth jar of Skippy. What's that from, you know, uh, that song that everybody knows? Um, Uptown Funk. 
Uptown, funk you up. Say what? Anyway, and it's like smoother than a fresh jar of Skippy, not Jeff. Oops, oopsie, oopsie. Okay, never mind that. Um, a hair clip. This is boring. <laughs> no, no. Um, but I love these. If you guys don't know, I just have to tell you, like, if you wear hair clips at all, this is so soft and it's an extremely good grip. I mean, I feel like we could do lots of things with those. Not just that. Um, yeah, maybe. Lemon juice, because I needed that. I always buy their... I love this, by the way, this new brand that they have there, the Leaping Leopard. I really like the brand. I really like that brand. FYI, if you haven't tried anything from them yet. I bought a few more of these. They are the Organic Blueberry Ginger, and they're supposed to be full of probiotics, and there's only 35 calories in the can, and they don't taste that great. But um, they are refreshing, I guess. And a black one. Okay. So also, don't forget, when I do a small haul like this, I always do a craft at the end. So remember to stick around for that craft at the end. Okay, so this is new. I haven't seen these. Um, so I have exactly six plants in my entire yard. Okay, I don't, I can't grow things. I can create things and craft things. I can't grow things. And so I snagged these just because I'm going to split them and put them on my plants that I have out there just to feed them something different. <laughs> Maybe they'll like it. I don't know. I live in Arizona. So like everything is, I shouldn't say that. I do have a couple cactus out front, but those were there. The backyard had nothing in it, which is why I bought the house. We bought the house. And there was this one area where there's plants. Any of you that have been around long enough, you've seen that area, so you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I thought this was really cool, you guys. You're looking really pretty. You're looking marvelous, simply marvelous. What's that from? Um, okay, here's not you. I, I feel pretty, oh, so pretty. I pre feel pretty and witty and bright. And I pity any girl who is in me tonight. There's a song for that. I got this for my granddaughter. I just thought it was super chic looking, like just a nice little travel case for your brushes or for whatever. And it's your, they had it in different colors, but I really liked this um, muted pink and I just thought it was super beautiful. So snag that up for Scarlet. And then, um, okay. So figure this one out. Three pairs of ped socks in here. I'm gonna, I wonder if I can get this sticker off and actually get the price of what it was. Cause it wasn't a dollar twenty five, like no way. Three pairs in here, and it's a name brand. No, there's no price on here. Dang it, um, you guys. This was this. I mean, this is a name brand. Peds. It's got three of the no show socks. Two black, one white. I there's no way that I mean this is probably six dollars maybe or more. I don't know, but here's what I love. They have the no slip on them. So this means I can wear them around the house like slippers. Yeah, no slip. Um, which the only thing I, song I can think of is slip, slip, slip in my... <laughs> Not even a song, Amy. One, 4th of July. And I mean one, 4th of July thing is the only thing I got. And it's just because I thought he was cute, America the Beautiful. And I thought maybe put him in a wreath. I don't know. Um, maybe take him apart and give him actual hair and pull the star out to the front. Maybe. I might still do that. I don't know. Maybe it'll be the craft today. I never know. You guys should understand when I do the craft at the end of the haul, I don't go into it with any idea. I do the haul and then be like, no, what am I going to craft? So it's a super fun challenge for me actually too. I kind of like that. And then, um, paper roses, paper roses. Oh, how do those roses smell? It smells, see, to me, I don't remember. Marie Osmond. Okay. So they smell, but they only smell because of the bag that they were in, which is so funny. Like they have this, can you smell? They have a smell. These are so pretty. I think I picked up some other ones before for you guys, but I don't think they were red. And look at the leaves on these. It's like that hydrangea plant that I picked. I don't know where it's at right now. And it's not here. Anyway, um, this, they're getting so good about some of their florals. This looks so high end. These are beautiful. I only got three. Um, but I mean, gosh, they're just, they're stunning. They're really, maybe this will be the craft. We know I should make like maybe the craft section, right? Maybe the craft at the end of the hall. Okay. Um, this is what, 
I'm bending down to pick up my bags. This is what made it smell so good. I had it in this bag and I'm so excited. Do you see the size of this? This is in Wash Aroma Booster. It smells so good because those roses. <laughs> Do not stick your nose in there. Yeah. Oh, it's like, yeah, here, here, Mr. Smarty Pants. I don't think I've, I've never heard you sneeze before, Effingham. Wow. But, okay, do you like it? Anyway, you guys, this is like a really big bottle. Now, it's not a name brand. I know it's not a name brand, but come on. It's little petals with smelly good stuff in it. So here's, there's so many things to do with this. Actually, this idea I stole from Bargain Mama, Amy. She bought one of those little packets and left it in her car, and she's like, her car smelled amazing. So then I started doing that. And so I'm ta I want to take this and just stick it. Um, it's not the whole thing. Like, actually, like this little, um, this little makeup bag is perfect for something like that. Fill it with these, throw it in your car. That mesh is so small, it wouldn't go through. Now I need another one. Always. So I'm just excited. I'm going to try it. I will let you guys know. I was so excited about three. So dumb. I don't even know if it works, but I bought three. I think it's gonna work though. And if not, it's just a really good smelly thing to use wherever. So it doesn't say what the scent is, but there's lots of florals on there. So, and it is kind of a floral scent. Like those roses, it's strong, you guys. This is strong. It has to work. We're gonna find out. Be careful whenever you do those things though too, because you could be allergic to the scent and that could be awful if you do laundry and you're allergic to it. I love this one. I love this one. Now, I'm not big. I'm not super big on their, their stinking little garden stakes like this because they seem too small. They're too dwarfed to actually put in a garden. And then, you, you know, the sticks coming off can be an issue sometimes. I don't know if this one's going to come off or not. But I just, I don't know why I thought this one was so cute. Maybe this is the craft today. I'd have to be able to get the stick off of it. That could be a problem. Because I know I'm not leaving the stick on it. Like, I never, I've never... I don't think I've ever bought one of these and left the stick on the, I'm just going to sit here and tear it apart, right? Yeah, I don't know if that's going to work. I might have to just like score it and bend it off. And I really wanted to slide it out of there. I will say this though, you guys, look at how they attached it in the back. That's better. Usually they just sort of, um, this is not going to work. But I'm going to try. You know I'm going to try. I'm bending it. <laughs> Maybe. Boop! All I did was put it down on the counter and I forced it down and it popped it loose. So, and it didn't destroy the truck too bad. I mean, it didn't really. Anyway, okay, maybe that's my craft. Now I have an extra stick. Okay, where are we going next? Oh, so I, I'm, I've got to stop picking up these prints because I don't really need them. Well, although, I did rent a booth so I might start doing crafts just to sell right because I have time for that but I thought I live in Arizona and I thought this one was so so very 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 pretty lots of ideas that you could do with that one and then I also thought this one was just really beautiful and airy and pretty I really liked it and it's got you know like the like it's slatted wood I don't know We don't know. Okay, and then what is this? Oh, I bought this. I forgot about this. Hmm. 501 riddles, so 501 jokes, riddles, games, trivia questions, fun facts, and offbeat tales, and it's for us to take on our, our trip with the kids on the road trip. So, um, like, knock, knock, who's there? To, to who? Actually, it's to whom? Yeah. So it's just full of, and I thought, oh my gosh, kind of fun, just like super small, right? So I can pack it in the suitcase or the carry-on super easily and then just have like a fun thing to do with the kids while we're driving. Like there's, uh, where in the world? What two states do not share a border with any other U.S. state? There you go, Alaska and Hawaii. Okay, boom. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> it is the Hawaii. Yeah, that has to be. Okay. So I bought that for that. I just thought that would be a fun thing. I'm trying to take little things that I can pack in my suitcase to do with the kids while we're in Mount Rushmore, which is in three weeks, two and a half weeks. Brand new. What is this? And and why why have we not seen it before? I don't know. 
but this is a rubber made product rubber made and it's a shelf track bin but we are going to open this because i want to see it in person um it is it says works with wood and wire but i don't know what that means i guess you screwed into wood or it would hang on wire like shelving i think is what they mean but so it is this hold on we're going to figure this out this gets goes on your cupboard well anyway and then this slides on it so it goes so you put this on the on the outside of your cupboard and then this like slides so you can put stuff on here and slide it like in your pantry or something right so it's called a shelf track and bin I don't know. I'll let you guys know, but it was rubber made, so I had to, right? Isn't that the rule? If it's a name brand and it's at the Dollar Tree, it's a rule. This feels like it was some giveaway or something like buy these pots and pans and we'll give you these rubber made shelf track and bin things, some of bobbers. Anyway, I don't know. Um, so maybe in the RV, I was thinking, like, because the RV is a place where you're always looking for more space. And so I will probably take them up there and see if they work there. Because the one thing is, in a pantry, normally you have the space between the door, right? So you can do that. But here, I feel like there's not there's not enough space. Like in a regular cupboard, there would not be enough space, right? Has anybody, have any of you out there gotten these? Because I feel like, yeah, no, that's not, this doesn't work. So it would only work in a pantry situation. I don't have one. Hmm. Anyway, I think I can get them to work at the, on the camper though. Okay. Let's get some more boring stuff. Ironically, I just hauled this the other day. Again, I haul this a lot. It's foot powder, and I put it, like, in my shoes every single day, so that's why I haul so much. Oh, my gosh, Ajax was back. And this is Ajax Classic Oxy Blitz 40 Fluid Ounces for all machines. H-E, you know, it's got all that. I love the Ajax, and it's not there all the time. So I snagged two of those. I always have, like, enough laundry detergent to do 15,000, 17,000. A lot of loads. I could do so much laundry because I always have so much of it backed up for me. Oh, and I thought this was so cute. It's a little lip gloss with a fidget thing on it. So I'm sending that to the granddaughter. I'm like, I need to do another pocket letter for her and send her a bunch of fun stuff. This is for me. And I'm like, I think it's so cool. So I've bought this so many times in my life and I wanna teach you guys. So this is Chapstick Total Hydration. I would go to Walgreens and spend like $7 for these. And I saw them at, Wal at Walmart. I saw them at the Dollar Tree and I'm like, no way. So I always carry one in my purse because it's a, it's a chapstick with a color. And so you can, well, barely not now. Hold on. I got well, anyway, you get the idea, all right? It's got, I got to get it lipped shaped. But so anytime, anywhere, I just throw a little color on my lips. Um, like if you go to the beach or something like that, probably not going to have, I have this stuff all over. You're not going to like have, um, I don't know. Uh, or like when I used to go kayaking, I would always have it with me because I get a little color on my lips after we went kayaking. If we went out somewhere, see there's color in it. Okay. I already had lipstick on, so I think that's why it didn't work. Anyway, um, that stuff is literally so expensive at the store, and that they have it there is amazing. It's one of those products that I've used for years. It's always in my purse. I wear lipstick a lot, but it's still always in my purse. Like, if, you know, if I'm gone for like a really long day or I eat the wrong thing, the lipstick's gonna come off, and I still have some place to go. I can throw some color on. Okay, enough about that. Apparently, I got one more. I got three of these. I love these. Love these. They're really great clips. Um, oh yeah, I found the, some more of the monster salted caramel. Love these. It is iced coffee time in the mornings. You know, we, we always make coffee to go with us, so um, it was. It's no longer hot coffee in the morning. Now it's iced coffee, and so we take these and we split them in our morning hot um, coffee. Like I have a so hold. So we make, we pre-make pitchers of cold coffee and then we'll fill our coffee cup up. We'll split one of these between us and then fill the rest of it up with this. So we're not getting like a ton of the calories and 
It gives it a nice little pop of flavor. They're so good. I love those. I love those. All right. Um, apparently, there's a couple more bases. I hauled a couple yesterday. No, Tuesday. So I should show you the whole set. Tuesday, on my small haul on Tuesday, I hauled these two. And Chrissy from Crafty Country, she goes, I need those bottles. Well, here's the other ones. There's a set of four. Aren't these adorable? They're so pretty. I really like these. And they really have sort of like this iridescence to them. Can you guys see that? So I don't know. I was thinking about, maybe that's the craft today. I was thinking about, they have, there's a uh, wood, there's a wood box thing that they sold that has four squares in it. The little square crates fit in it perfectly, but I was wondering if maybe this would fit in it perfectly too, and it would be like this cute little centerpiece. Maybe that's my craft. Okay, then I found these. Guess what these are? They're the tote bags, and they're blank. They're blank, which means you can take the stuff, the iron-ons that they sell at Dollar Tree, you can make your own pillow, you can make your own tote bag. Blank, I'm telling you, blank. Yeah, that's like it. It's it's super cool. Tie dye them. Like they sell the tie dye stuff. I love to do the tie dye stuff with the kids. And like so blank. That took long enough. I don't know why it took so long for them to give us blank ones. Okay, we're nearing the end. I, I'm not. Sh I'm throwing this into my gnome giveaway for the 2,500. When I get to 2,500 subscribers, I'm at. I'm almost at eight. I'm getting closer to 1,800 now. So when I get to 2,500, it's a huge basket of gnome stuff. But I thought this one was kind of cute, so I was like, I'll grab that and throw it into my gnome giveaway. And then I have, this is the last thing I have in my haul to show you, but it is a repeat buy for me because I love them. And I think they're just super beautiful. So I'm gonna show you what they are here in 2.2 seconds after I unwrap them and tower them up. Did I do this once already? Did I make the tower? I don't think I have. I might have given it away. Um, okay, so they sell these candles and they smell really good. This one is Healing Stone. This one is Patio Sand. These are super great outdoor candles because they're low. This one is Mineral Mist. Mmm, they smell so good. And then this one is um, Turquoise Tides. But look, isn't, that, isn't it pretty when it's all, when it's all towered up? Just burn them all, glue them all together and then have a little votive holder in the top. So pretty, so pretty. And you can do these colors like all kinds of ways, right? You don't, I mean, uh, do it however you wanna do it. They just are like, yeah, so pretty. It's so pretty, because it's colored glass. It's not just the can, the glass is colored. Okay, do it nautical, you can put seashells in it. I know what it was I did. I did, oh, I'm gonna show you guys that too, hold on. It was this I did last year and I burned the candles and I piled them together. So it was ocean stuff, sand, and uh, and then I have a little, I did a seashell that I put a votive inside of it. Can you guys see that in there? Anyway, um, super cute. And that's sort of the kind of the same idea, although I don't know that I will put anything in these, except it'd be super cool to put like colored beads in them or something like that. I'm not sure. I have to burn them first, right? And I did, I think I gave my last set away that I bought of those, because they were just, they're a super good gift as well really high-end looking candle look at the the tag on them is really good i think they're green briar but are they green briar um i don't know anyway imported by maybe not so there you go that's last thing i got today all right so you guys short little haul sorry and now I'm gonna break away. I'm gonna do a craft. Stick around if you wanna stick around for the craft. But as always, have a great day, great week, a great life. Come back on Saturday for the giveaway. I'll be giving away more of the, the metal ribbon and Marcus and I are due for a foodie fun day. It's very, we've been so busy. It's, it's, that seems to be running about every two weeks, but there's also a giveaway for that. And um, we're going camping again this weekend. So I'm, I think I'm gonna do a surprise different kind of haul on Saturday. Anyway, come back and find out. All right, uh, that's it, right, Effingham? Can you think of anything else? Nothing else, nothing, moo. Yeah, moo. Okay, that's good, that's good, thank you. All right, from your singing crafty craft or happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree, stick around and watch the craft if you want. Bye, guys, I'll, I'll come back and show you the craft. Okay, so the craft is gonna start with this. And I am gonna use the jars. So, and I'm also gonna use some greenery that I hauled on my Tuesday thing so first i'm going to deconstruct this 
I'm not gonna show it on camera. We're just gonna do this craft sort of right here with you guys. So I'm gonna deconstruct it and come back and show you that. Okay, so I got it off and it, the backside looks awful. We don't care, because we're not really using that. So now I'm gonna take my sander and I'm just gonna give it some distressing. Just gonna make it like, you know, just stressed on the edges. So see like that one there versus that one. Just not even, some on the center of it too. All right, so just sanding all over it. All right, so I've sanded it all up. Can you guys see that? Just to make it look a little worn, right? And now I'm probably gonna take just my furniture marker and just give it some like dark areas. Like just, you just pop some shadowing sort of in it. Just to, just to give it, you know, like some weather spots. And then after I do that, sort of all over it, I'll sand some of those spots down just so it's not like super, super dark. But when you're, when you're aging something, one of the best things to do is to go into the crevices where there's joints because that's where dust settles. And so really old pieces are always darker and more, um, uh, they're just darker in color in the corner areas because that's what happens <laughs> because that's where the dust settles. Okay, so now I've just sort of marked it up all over, right? Looks kind of meh right now, but now I'm just going to take my sander again. And so for instance, see that spot? I'm just going to sand, this sander is so bad, I need a new one. Just going to sand it down, give it some where just a little bit of places where there's just a, a like a darker streak like there's something in the wood even though this isn't even wood people but you know that's not even wood that's okay this works exactly how we want it to so i'm gonna finish that up see now look at it see how you've got sort of those dark areas where the joints are okay all right next step so what I'm doing, in case you guys are wondering, is I'm making a centerpiece using this ladder that's gonna hold the four vases together. It's gonna be super cute. But now I'm gonna do a little something in the vases. Not much, just a little something. Oh, I have four vases and I have four different metal ribbons and I'm just gonna cut that metal ribbon and put it around the vase, just like that. So I was thinking, wait, maybe I'll do it differently. Mm, I might do this. Yeah, I will do that. So I'm going to sort of put it around the bottle so it lays flat like that, maybe? I don't know. Mm, I really like it just around the neck. <laughs> okay. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna go around the neck. I am. All right, so I have four different ribbons and I'm gonna do that on the four different bases. And I think I am just going to tack it with a little bit of hot glue. Okay, these came out so pretty. Look at the bottles with the metal on the tops. Emily, like, okay, just look. So pretty you guys this came out so pretty so simple and so pretty but I'm doing a little twist on it because I'm taking sort of this modernish chic and I'm adding a little farmhouse to it I don't know what you call that but anyway so I've done my two things that I was prepping I took my ladder thing and I've prepped all that I've prepped my my pretty little things and now I'm gonna take some florals and I'm gonna put some pics in this and then take some pictures and show you guys. And you'll have to see what you think. So it's a little bit different. It's not one of my normal crafts, but I just thought it would be fun to do something, I don't know, a little avant-garde, right? <laughs> okay, so what do you think? Here it is.